Welcome back! It's Mindful Being Practices and Week 3 talking about distractions and increasing focus. So I'm talking about this theme this week because I have an upcoming workshop that talks about for four hours we're going to talk about different ways and using skills on how to get less distracted and increase our focus. And why I follow up from emotions with this workshop is because we might think we're getting distracted by external factors like our cell phones, people that get into our space or just other distractions like while driving, cell phone use and things like that. But initially, I believe that our distractions come from our internal turmoil. So if we are not really focused internally, if we don't know which way to go, or if we have uncertainty in our lives, we're more likely to get unfocused and distracted. And I found it relevant to talk about it also during this pandemic because we're being pulled in so many different directions from what the news are telling us, what the government is deciding, how school is going, and then adding on top of this our home offices and having the kids at home. And so we are exposed to multiple outlets of distractions. And we could probably talk hours just on one specific topic, for instance, the news, distractions of the news. And I came to realize that if we are not going to see the importance of focusing on our breath, noticing how we're feeling in a certain situation or a moment, that we will lose our focus very, very easily. And not only that, but also we're not going to just lose our focus because of the lack of focus. We also then are not fulfilling our full potential. We are going to lack in certain places in our, in our journey to succeed. And in these past few weeks, especially, I've been paying more attention to how I get distracted. And I noticed that a lot of times is to getting back on where we're at. And there's actually some research shown that the amount of time it takes you back to remember where you left off or to be back into that groove or the zone that you were in before, it takes you at least 20 to 30 minutes to be back there, like fully emerged. So imagine if you get distracted every two, five minutes, then you will never get back into that zone. So the idea is to really carve out time for certain aspects, certain tasks, certain discussions, and certain emotions that we have. And by doing that, we allowing ourselves to be aware of where we are in a certain place and time. So when we get distracted, or rather let's start with the focus, when we start on a task and we have these tasks to do, we know we have X amount of time, maybe 30 minutes, an hour to get this done. We're fully active and ready. And so we're not thinking of being distracted in the first place. So I noticed, for instance, I'm starting with a project, I'm doing something and I'm just, whatever, in the middle of something. And the second somebody says something, I'm being pulled away. And so the goal is to address, of course, what's happening, either with setting our boundaries or we'll just come back to that task. So in the next few days, we're going to find out different ways of ha how to handle those situations, how to bring our focus back, but also acknowledging that we're being distracted. So it's a difficult place because first we have to notice that we're distracted or and that we uh, want to focus. So there's two ways of um, implementations. And so we're gonna start with the distraction, how to handle them, and then move on into how to create those boundaries. So I hope you like this week and let me know how, what you think. If you need any additional help, 
or directions, let me know. I'm here. See you tomorrow.